Hi there, John here at MicroAces. Welcome to MicroAces Workshop once again. And uh, this is the first of uh, many videos on uh, how to build the MicroAces Sock with Camel. Um, I thought we'd start off with a, a video that literally just goes through the contents of the box. Um, and it could be a little more interactive, whereby uh, if you have any questions or you want to see certain things during the build, um, then you can leave uh, some comments on the uh, on the video below. Um, this will be up on uh, on YouTube. Um, yeah, so leave comments on uh, on anything you'd like to see specifically, and then we can make sure we can incorporate that in the uh, in the following videos. Um, I will be making a uh, a, a video um, shortly after this one uh, on uh, on actually uh, creating or uh, building the um, uh, the the subframe of the uh, of the aircraft. Um, but uh, there will be a little bit of a gap that will give you the opportunity to uh, to watch a few of the videos. And then please put some comments on there about what we, you would like to see as we progress with the uh, with the build and the, uh, the the subsequent videos that we make um, to uh, to show that build so uh, anyway without further ado let's get down onto the billboard and see what we've got um, there we go as you can see here um, we have all the parts that uh, that have come in the box this is just the at the moment the kit only um, Obviously, I can I can grab a motor and some uh, receiver, etc. Uh, from stock um, when we come to that point, but we're a little bit uh, away from that at the moment. Um, but uh, yeah, so here we go. In the box, um, the first thing that you'll notice is the bound assembly guide, um, which goes through um, the uh, complete build in itself. So this is your sort of primary um, reference to the uh, to the build uh, it's uh, it's been well thought out um, the the process and the way that you go through the uh, the build if you haven't built a, a micro Oasis kit before um, then I suggest sticking to the uh, the sequence of events uh, um, as it's laid out in the uh, in the assembly guide so let's just put that one to one side and uh, we'll be using that during the build um, and then we've got the uh, the parts so we have the uh, fuselage here this is the um, iconopit uh, version of the uh, the camel this is a, a special edition um, that uh, if you haven't purchased uh, by now um, it's unfortunately been and gone but we have uh, several other uh, sock with camels that you can uh, you can uh, purchase from the MicroAces website um, www.microaces.com um, so uh, so there we've got the, the fuselage and uh, the uh, the wheels um, on that particular sprue that's um, a single sided printed one millimeter foam it's very much like Depron but it's actually not um, Depron obviously is a uh, a brand name um, this is uh, this is made in the same way, um, but uh, it's uh, it's just a one millimeter thick, which is uh, fantastic for what we need it for. Um, then we have here our, our plastics. This is actually a, a polyester uh, plastic, and it's once again single sided printing, um, and it's got all sorts on. Uh, it's, there's some uh, some structural stuff. Um, we've got parts of the the, the rotary engine. Um, you can see windscreen there. We've even got rigging uh, between some of the uh, the struts as well. That's actually cut uh, really finely from uh, from this material. We've even got the uh, the machine guns. We've got things like the control horns. Um, and uh, undercarriage etc so uh, yeah lots uh, lots of parts there that we will be using during the build uh, then we've got a, a two millimeter foam sheet now this is actually uh, um, 
a, a, a what's called a vector board and it's very very flexible um, it uh, it doesn't tear particularly easily um, it cuts quite well um, not fantastic for sanding but it will sand and uh, once again a lot of it's structural a lot of it uh, sort of the the interior of the uh, the fuselage um, and uh, and then we've got some um, there are some ribs there for the uh, for the wing more parts for the um, for the, uh, the rotary engine um, wheels um, yep yeah, bits of the bits of the fuselage and also this structure here this is actually a wing brace for the lower wing which has some uh, dihedral to it and this allows us to during the assembly set that uh, that dihedral um, so uh, so that's that's the two millimeter material we've also got a sticker pack um, some of this is uh, is decorative some is uh, structural so we've got things like hinges um, uh, for the uh, for the elevator and rudder we've also got some uh, very uh, detailed parts here um, that are used for each of the cylinders of the uh, of the rotary engine um, obviously uh, coverings for struts We've got some prop stickers as well. Now these are designed to go onto the GWS uh, prop um, that is recommended for this particular kit, which is the GWS 4530. Um, and this uh, gives the prop a, a beautiful wooden effect. Um, and we've got coverings for the ribs. Um, we've also got these down here. If you've ordered an extra detail pack, then in that detail pack, you get uh, four little um, 3D printed uh, Cooper, 25 pound Cooper bombs, um, and you can uh, you can decorate those after you've painted them uh, the the um, appropriate yellow that they were uh, they are painted. Um, you can then wrap uh, the um, red and uh, green stripes around them too to give them a really realistic look. Um, so we also got um, machine gun. Uh, the, uh, the the cooling jacket uh, around the uh, the barrel um, that's that's also represented here nicely detailed with the uh, the slats that uh, the, the vents that um, that are actually in the, uh, the the full scale aircraft and we've got some nice detail here with uh, the, um, uh, the in, in the cockpit with the uh, the dials and all the bits and pieces that you would uh, you would see uh, as you look into this open cockpit aircraft so uh, yeah so there we've got the sticker pack and then we've got another um, one millimeter uh, um, foam sprue now that's double sided printed as you can see um, so it goes through an additional process and this is all laser cut too so um, yeah, and, and you'll see on here as well, some of the laser cutting isn't going all the way through. That's because it's uh, it's essentially a score um, that allows the wing to be bent in a, a certain place um, to uh, to create a camber in the uh, in the wing, uh, and make it a little more um, uh, what's the word? <laughs> a little more flyable. <laughs> <laughs> a little more buoyant in the air um you know what i mean so we've got that there now we have a a bag of bits these are all the other bits that are, uh, are used uh, for the aircraft um so here we have a couple of bits of piano wire that are shaped at the uh, at the ends you can probably see there um uh, they are the control rods for the um for the radio control of the um, the tail surfaces, we've also got this bag of bits here, which we'll go through in a minute, and we've got a vacuum formed cowl. Actually, the uh, the sock of the camel, as you, if you know it, has a, uh, um, a, a very curved and short front end that houses the uh, the rotary engine. And uh, there we go. We have to uh, cut that, free that from its, um, its carrier material. Now, there we've also got a nice 500 mil 
of uh, flat carbon fiber very flexible but very strong these are used for things like the uh, struts the undercarriage etc stiffens it all up um, so that uh, it looks rather good it works rather well as well so in this bag here let's just go through this um, we have got a, uh, a plastic tube there also known as a straw <laughs> Um, uh, that's actually to, used to create the cylinders of the, the rotary engine. Um, we've got a little bag here with uh, some information written on about what to do with the, uh, the material within. So in here we have, just, there we go. It's basically, uh, it's rigging thread. Um, so before we start attaching that, we need to uncoil it and uh, hang it from the um, the nearest peg um, with the, with a weight on it just to uh, get any stretch out of it um, there we go and that's what that little bit of information on the front is it's just to tell you to stretch it out before uh, before using it um, that way um, you get less uh, slackening of the rigging during the lifetime of the aircraft so we've got a nice little plywood sheet here um, all laser cut out as you can see very fine detail um, and this is mainly um, the uh, the engine mount um, you'll see once we've built this um, how the uh, um, how you get into the internals of the aircraft to change the battery uh, make alterations to uh, to your control wires, um, etc. So um, there we go. That's uh, part of a rather sophisticated um, engine mount. We've also got a bit of uh, self adhesive lead strip um, because the camel uh, has such a short nose. Uh, it needs some ballast in the front to uh, to bring that tail up. Otherwise, it's uh, it's tail heavy and quite difficult to fly. Um, some more carbon fiber strip this is specifically cut um, to length for uh, this goes on the leading edge of the um, the elevator and it stiffens that uh, the the elevator um, to work as one um, and we'll, uh, we'll see that at a later date two we've got a um, a carbon fiber rod here which is actually uh, is used for the axle um, so uh, the two wheels go on either side and uh, run like so and then we've got a couple more pieces of tubing yeah, and they actually are used to create the, uh, the, um, the machine guns the part of the machine gun um, we have a couple of neoprene lightweight neoprene tires if they can actually get them out there we go so there you have it and we have a little brass tube um, that forms the um, the central axle of the uh, of the dummy rotary engine and the actual prop shaft uh, of the uh, the motor gearbox goes through that um, and actually spins the um, the motor as the, the prop goes around which is a, a nice little uh, effect um, we've now got we've got a couple of um, 3d printed parts here very small as well um, we have a little rigging pip um, which uh, we'll see how that's used during the build um, and we also have which is still on its carrier um, just to make it easier to transport and uh, uh, less damage and and a little bit hard to lose in the carpet um, this is the little fuel pump prop um, and if it's mounted correctly um, it will actually spin during flight which once again nice little scale touch for something uh, so small um, so there we go that's the uh, the contents of the um, the kit itself that's the kit only kit um, if you purchase it with the electronics you also obviously get um, the motor gearbox uh, you get a prop and prop adapter um, and you get the um, the little uh, electronics 
receiver board, uh, which has the onboard servos, um, the electronic speed controller, and it's all plug and play, essentially. So, um, so there we go. Let's just... Uh, so now we have the, uh, the, the wonderful task of starting the uh, assembly of this aircraft, which we will do in the, uh, in the next episode. Um, this, as I said, just a quick introduction to the, uh, to the kit itself. And um, if you'd be so kind, if you want to see um, certain uh, techniques um, or uh, different ways of uh, achieving the build, um, then please leave uh, comments below. Oh, there was me summarizing, and uh, there's something that I forgot. Let's go through the tools that we will actually need to uh, to build. Um, so uh, let's get down onto the build board again. Sorry about that. Um, and you can see it's sort of a little pile of bits over here. Um, so let's just go, go through them in no particular order. Um, this is my well-used, well-worn uh, sanding stick, um, also known as a nail file. Um, we have our Yoohoo paw, which uh, does most of the hard work of gluing it together. Um, I've got my uh, scalpel, and I've got some fresh blades as well. I'll be uh, I'll be popping a new blade onto there um, before the build, um, and I've also got my tweezers as well. Um, the only thing I don't seem to have here, which I will uh, be using as well, um, is my uh, rigging tool, um, also known as a needle threader. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll grab one of those and show that to you in one of the subsequent videos, probably the one um, that involves the, uh, the rigging. Um, so um, the, other, the other couple of things that I've got here um are the uh, the super fatic glue which we will also be using this is great on the um on the plywood um works really well as a as a, a wood adhesive although it will stick pretty much anything um and also i've started using more and more the um uh, the ca glue as well so we may be uh, maybe using some of that too um, we don't actually, we sell the Superfatic and we sell the Yuhu. We don't sell the uh, the Rocket um, CA at the moment. I think we'll start doing it. Um, Deluxe Materials are uh, um, a, uh, a British company um, and uh, have, uh, have always supplied us with our uh, Superfatic glue um, and done a fabulous job at doing that. They're a really approachable company um, and we're uh, hopefully going to be working with them um, for some future projects as well. So uh, so watch this space on that. Um, the, the last part I want to uh, tell you about is um, it's a little more unusual. A lot of you will know about this trick already, but those that don't, this is a, an extraordinarily useful tip when building. Lighter fluid. Lighter fluid uh, dissolves yuhu pore, um, but it doesn't dissolve foam or the print that's on the foam, um, which is fantastic if you need to rectify any um, issues that you've had during the build um, or um, indeed um, once the aircraft's built and you need to repair it you need to take bits off um, then lighter fluid applied using a brush which i don't seem to have at the moment um, but just a, a little um, artist's or hobby brush um, just applied to the uh, the joint and the you who will uh, will give up and give way and uh, and then you can once this is evaporated, you can reapply glue and bring it all back together again. So extraordinarily um, useful part of the uh, of the uh, the tool um, the, the toolkit that you have for building not only uh, microisis aircraft but any uh, aircraft that you use you who pour for, or uh, not even aircraft, <laughs> anything that you use you who pour for. So uh, yeah, that fantastic. Uh, Fantastic little tip there. Good. Okay. I think we have done everything now. 
so um, let's uh, let's just come back up off the billboard um, and say thank you very much for watching this short video um, we will be cracking on with the the camel very shortly and uh, as i said uh, before that if you've got anything you want to see in the videos just leave comments below not only in this video video but any other videos that come along and we'll see if we can incorporate it in a future uh, video um, or one of the videos of this particular build. So um, thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.